Welcome to Dr. Vape. Uh, my name is Dr. Keith Diorio. I'm a medical doctor, trained as a family practitioner, who uh, through my own personal experience dealing with injury, trauma, uh, I was led to uh, explore uh, alternative med medical techniques. And as a result, I became an acupuncturist, an herbalist, a nutritionist, a prolotherapist, a neurotherapist, and a homeopath. Uh, and from my experience taking care of tens of thousands of patients over the last 25 years in my clinic in Santa Monica, I came to uh, certain conclusions about how the human body actually functions. And the human body actually is a holographic projection. Many physicists today, uh, including uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, who recently died, uh, has basically determined that uh, based on mathematical principles and physical principles that the universe that we live in is one large hologram and uh, there's the mathematical equations to actually substantiate that concept so through uh, the combination of physics and homeopathic principles um, I developed uh, the concept that we call holocode um, and what that basically is saying is that each and every one of us has um, a holographic blueprint of ourselves and according to Stephen Hawking this blueprint uh, exists someplace out in the universe possibly within black holes and this uh, this holocode or whole image actually encodes for our entire body structure all the organs, all the glands, all the tissues and this code is made up of potentially millions and billions of gigabytes of data. This, uh, this code uh, is then projected once enough um, light information, photons, photonic information uh, illuminates it and when it becomes properly illuminated it sends out a holographic projection of you into space eventually it hits uh, what's called the Higgs field and then via the Higgs boson which is also known as the God particle it this information converts into physical matter form uh, in other words uh, we're taking photonic energy uh, and then it converts into actual physical matter structure and this conversion process actually occurs through water. That's why water is always found anywhere there is anywhere where there is living um, beings or living entities. And so, water plays a crucial role in the conversion of light or energy into physical matter form. And this is really important because homeopathy. Um, it's also based on this type of concept where you're dealing with an energetic uh, signature typically from a, say a plant or it could be from a disease or from a poison and this signature is made up of certain photonic data points and by taking a homeopathic remedy with certain photonic data points it's able to illuminate or super illuminate certain parts of our holocode of our, our our image this this holographic image and this information is once you take say for example homeopathic remedy this information is sent interdimensionally back to the hologram located at the black hole and it illuminates uh, your your hologram and as we know like with Princess Leia uh, you know the Disney character uh, Star Wars character uh, Disneyland used to sell these, these holograms. If you send light through the hologram, it then projects a holographic image. Well, the same thing's happening here. If you take, say, a homeopathic remedy that has a certain energy signature, and you take it, and what happens, your brain is like the, the projector, so to speak. It's sending this light information back to your hologram, and the hologram becomes illuminated. When it becomes illuminated, it then sends out a holographic projection of you. And when that information then hits the Higgs field, uh, which is like kind of a matrix, an energetic matrix, via the God particle, 
um, or the Higgs boson, it then converts into physical matter form. So, uh, this system uh, can actually be, actually be captured using uh, advanced camera technology. The high megapixel cameras that are now available on every one of our smartphones allows us to capture this information. Uh, because since everything is based on light, uh, especially like on a subatomic level, you know, we think about uh, matter, like this desk. We think this desk is solid, but actually, according to modern physics, it's 99.99% uh, space. And it's, even though it has a structure to it, subatomically, it's just, it's just basically light or energy. The same thing applies to our bodies. So our bodies are emitting a photonic signature which the cameras are picking up. This information can then be uh, produced using you know, production uh, software that allows for uh, the conversion of all this information into say a, a video format and then this information can then be played uh, through a TV set, a 4K TV set, into specially treated water. And we call this water holocode water. So this information, uh, because water has very unique properties um, that allow it to actually capture uh, or hold or resonate with this information that it's being exposed to, uh, it actually stores all this data in the water molecule. The water molecule is structured and it actually changes its covalent bonding to allow for this information to be stored. So all the different digital information I'm talking about through the, the, the using these, uh, these, these high megapixel cameras can actually be uh, imprinted into water. And when you drink this water of you, for example, uh, it actually then is sent via the brain, just like what I was explaining with the uh, homeopathic remedies, it's sent via the brain back to the hologram of you, and it then illuminates the hologram. And as the hologram becomes illuminated, it then sends out a holographic projection of you, uh, or a more accurate or more illuminated uh, holographic projection of you, hits the Higgs field, converts into physical matter via the Higgs boson, and then your physical tissues, your organs, your glands, you know, your hair, your skin, your nails, all become more perfectly manifested in this three-dimensional real reality that we experience as, you know, as the world. But really the world is just simply a holographic projection that uh, is actually moving from a kind of a 2D space into a three-dimensional space. Um, and this is what actually gives us this, uh, this, this sensation of form and structure and being solid and everything that we experience in the physical world. So, this concept is, is basically what I call holographic homeopathy. And in homeopathy, there's a, there's a concept called like cures like. And like cures like means that if you take a compound or substance that has certain associated sim, uh, properties with it um, that can induce or treat certain symptoms in the human body, uh, we say that those, those similar symptoms can actually treat similar symptoms in the human being. And uh, a good example actually is, uh, for example, Ipecac. In homeopathy, Ipecac is a homeopathic remedy. In its pure form, it's, it's used to treat people with nausea or vomiting, or say somebody, um, I'm sorry, somebody who has, uh, say, taken a poison, and they need to, to induce uh, vomiting. They would then give, uh, uh, they would give Ipecac in its pure form to that individual. Typically it's found in many medicine cabinets. They give that uh, pure form Ipecac to the person and it would do, induce vomiting. Well in its homeopathic form, if you take Ipecac and you put it into potency, uh, potency basically means that you take the original substance, you put it into an alcohol water mixture, you succuss it numerous times, dilute out the physical material form of it and you're left with a vibrational or energetic form of it uh, that would be a homeopathic 
potency or homeopathic remedy. If you have somebody who's, who's vomiting or has nausea and you give them the homeopathic ipecac, it takes away the symptoms. So this was the whole concept of like cures like. It's the number one principle in homeopathy that the entire system, the entire medical system of homeopathy is based upon.